Hey, what's up? Nathan here from PH Studios. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we just finished the menu screen and got things all s figured out. We still have some commented stuff because we have not done the play screen or the help screen. So before we go into the help screen, there's something we need to discuss, and that's game1.cs modifications. And we just want to do this to see how things are going so far. We can use it for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and modify this. As usual, game1.cs is a pretty a standard name, so I like to right click and go to rename and let's name it uh, space shooter game.cs or anything you want. Leave the dot cs and click yes. Alright. So now let's double click that to open it up. Now, we already have a screen manager. That's one of the things we brought in from one of my already created samples. And we already have that in there. So if we just do screen manager. Again, I have not discussed those. I discussed now those about four tutorials in the past. So you can check it out from the panels tutorial. The PDF tutorial for this. The advanced techniques tutorial that is about screens and you'll get a detailed explanation on what a screen manager is and how to build your own. So the class is screen manager, let's call it screen manager, lowercase s. And in the game constructor, we want to create our dimensions and like usual we do that by doing graphics dot preferred back buffer height and width. So width we're going to do 1280 and I'm doing this 720p resolution. Graphics step preferred back buffer height is equal to 720. And leave content there. And in the sample I says is fixed time step is equal to true. You do not really need this or you can leave it in there if you want. I'm going to leave that out. So screen manager now we need to initialize the screen manager inside the constructor. We have the screen manager as a field and that is equal to null right now. So we need to initialize that it is equal to new screen manager and the constructor wants a game game. So we just pass it this. Is this a game? Yes, because it's a derivative of xna.framework.game. So it is a game component. And speaking of components, we need to add the screen manager into the components list. So components.add components.add screen manager. Alright. Now in the initialize, all we have to do is set screen manager dot add screen new main menu screen and that should be it for the whole game1.cs you shouldn't have to modify any of this unless you want to oops control s to save it and let's try running it right now now we will might we probably will get some build errors so we probably won't get a chance to run it yet yeah seven errors Make sure you case sensitive. It's so the target is bullet was lowercase. So make sure that's correct. Okay, so there's some stuff we need to modify, and it's mostly changing stuff from float to int. So what you need to do is go in here and just cast it to int. Since origin dot y is a float, we we need to change that from a float to an int. So then we do build and build and then see more floats to int that we need to do. So just cast those two ints that we messed up earlier. And then we should be able to build after we do all this stuff. And hopefully we get some menu system looking thing that we can see. And if it didn't crash, we will be able to look at it. So now what we need to do is we need to click the content 
right click the content go to add new folder and let's call this fonts and this is just so we can test the menu system going on we right click the fonts folder go to new item and we want a sprite font type of item once it loads so it's a sprite font and let's just call it menu and let's just leave it on the defaults for now let's go back to the menu sys menu screen the main menu screen and let's go to the load content and set sprite font is equal to content or to grab the content if we go to the game one.cs you can or what we just changed to space shooter game .cs, you can see that we set the content root directory to content so it looks inside this content sub project okay so what we need to do is we need to go back to the main menu screen and the way we get to the content is if you look at the game uh, look at the screen manager class look at the properties we can get the content system back on spate or screen manager dot content that just returns our content system that is activated so if we go back to the main menu screen the first thing we want to do in the load content method is to create a local reference to the content manager and you might need to add the using microsoft.xna.framework.content so content manager let's call it lowercase content is equal to screen manager dot content so now we have a local reference to our content from our screen manager which is a screen manager reference to our spatial games content so let's go back to the menu menu screen now lower sp capital sprite font is equal to lowercase content dot load so the type we want to use as the sprite font type and what we want to call it is a if you click over there on the right hand side where it says many dot sprite font let's go to view properties you can see the asset name is many but we're in a different folder so what we need to do is we need to get to that folder and then menu And then we should just do at for a l complete reference path to there. And then we click the sprite font right here so we can add the using Microsoft.exonated framework.graphics. So that that sprite font is referencing the sprite font inside the graphics framework. And what we need to give it as the content to load is the this menu dot sprite font. So if you click there, and if you go to view properties window, you should see that the asset name is just menu. However, we're in a different folder than the standard content folder. So what we need to do is we need to go in and actually do a path reference to that. And the way we do that is we use an at quote the folder name we want to go to fonts double slash because the first slash is an escape character so if we do do slashes we say we actually want to add the slash and the asset name which is just menu end quote so that does a reference that does a path by reference that gives it it says from the default install this exe file we want to go to the fonts folder then the menu folder so that's what the at is for now if we leave that out and then try to start debugging yeah it'll work but lots of people like to use the at so it's up to you so now if we go to debug and start debugging you can see that we can and we also have an input system so we can do some stuff 
Now, this is the default font, so it's a little bit small. It's not as what we want it to be, but we'll get there. And it currently does not work because we have nothing to do. However, play game just quit for some reason. So, we know for sure that it's being drawn and we can go from there. So, next tutorial, we're going to do the help screen. Hope to see you next time.